quick and easy watercolor florals. Hi, I'm Rebecca and welcome back to day 16 of our daily creative practice. And I am really tickled pink to be able to share this quick and easy way I learned recently to do watercolor flowers. Watercolor can be really tricky and it can scare a lot of people off and a lot of people just won't even go there. They like acrylics, they like oils, they like pastels, they like all kinds of different media, but they are a little afraid when it comes to watercolor. So today I'm going to show you this quick technique I learned from, I believe her name was Creation CC on YouTube. So all we need is our watercolors, some good clean water, a little towel to dab our brush on. This is a number four round brush. And of course you use the size of brush that you want the flower. So the bigger the flower, the bigger the brush you'll need to use. So it's just quite simple. And let me get my watercolor activated here. I hope you all are doing well and great with this uh, 20 minutes a day. It is working out beautifully for me and I am excited about it. I'm excited about coming here every day and showing you what I am up to. So I'm going to come in here and just I'm going to roll my brush in that watercolor to get a pretty fine tip, as fine as I can get. And I'm going to come in here and I am going to put three dabs in a triangle shape. Then I am going to rinse my water off, touch my towel, because you don't want too much water here, stick my brush in there and wiggle and pull. I'm going to turn it a little bit, re-dip my brush, stick it in the puddle, and pull. That's really all you do. That's the secret. But I like to kind of pull it toward myself. That works a little bit easier for me. And we're well on our way to a beautiful flower here. So let me just show you the second part of it. You put two more dots. And come in and do the same thing. And wiggle. And I left too much water on there that time. Just re-dip your brush every time. Place and wiggle. And there is no right or wrong. These are beautiful no matter how you do them. So let me put this up here and show you as close as I can that beautiful little flower. Now let's make one more. Let's see what color. How about a yellow one? You have to get your watercolors a little bit juicy. It was funny today because my daughter and I were talking on her way to work this morning and she was talking about the art crime I had committed in my watercolor box here because it just was bothering her that I had gotten the blue into the pinks and I had gotten the background <laughs> dirty. So she likes things clean and I guess everybody has a pet peeve. So I went on um, my Instagram and on Facebook today and kind of put a little meme out there for you to tell me your biggest art crime pet peeve. So I'd love to hear what yours is. Okay, clean your brush, dab, and wiggle. Clean your brush, dab, and pull. Clean your brush, dab, wiggle and pull. 
That's just too cool. And then put your second petal of dots in here. Just make it a little fussy because I'm pulling toward this already flower there. And that's a little bit harder to see. And what I'm going to do is come in here in that orange while these are still wet. And I'm just going to dab some orange in here. And try not to touch it. That's the thing about watercolor is try not to touch it once you do that. And let me get it close for you. See how that is spreading? So you kind of just have to let watercolor do their own magic thing themselves, and they will do it. Trust me. Let's do one more here. Oops. Yeah, probably upset my daughter once again by dipping it in two different things. So I'm going to make three right there. Dip. Pull and wiggle. Doesn't this look easy? <laughs> I hope you try this. Pull and wiggle. These are just really, really cool. And get some more. And do two more dips. Dippy dots. And pull and wiggle. Clean. Pull and wiggle. And that's pretty good doing it on screen. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put just a little bit of a darker color in the center to give it some contrast. Remember when we talked about contrast earlier this week? It's all about contrast, isn't it, people? Okay, so let me just come in here and drop a few dots. And these little white spaces. And hold this up so you can see the magic happening because I think that will move right in front of the camera. See that moving? Isn't that magic? <laughs> and that's really all there is to our wonderful quick and easy watercolor flowers. Let me just come in here and put a little stem. Let me test that. That's a little too green. I think I want a more yellow green. Again, messy palette. And I'm just going to come in here and pull, this is probably um, rushing it a little bit because I probably should wait till those flowers dry so the green doesn't dissolve up into them. Down here. And then I'm just going to come in with a little more green and push like this and create little leaves. Some more darkness down to the bottom. 
And of course, you know me, I can pets all day. Pets, pets, pets. But I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to leave it there for now. And I encourage you to just get some watercolors and get in your studio and try to create some of these dip and dot and wiggle flowers. I have to tell you that I did this on cold press paper. And these, the ones that were in this little envelope here, are done on hot press. So it's a little rougher. So this is a little finer flower. I hope you can see that. Let me tilt it just a little bit so you can see the difference in how the flowers look on rough uh, hot press and smoother cool press. Oh, and there is one thing else I forgot. I gessoed. I did some clear gesso on one of our book pages because I want to see if I can get actually one of these flowers on there. So let me just see if that works. Pick up some paint and three dip dots. Hold your breath. Oh, I believe it's going to work. Wiggle squiggles. Absolutely. Oh, fun. Wiggle and squiggle. Yep. Wiggle and squiggle. I might make this one a six petal. Yep. Wiggle and squiggle. And that's pretty cool. Let me come back and just put a touch more of this orange. And maybe a little water so that'll travel. Putsing too much, aren't I? I'm gonna put this nice little purple color in here and add some water and see that blend. And that's pretty cool on our page, isn't it? So you can actually paint in your altered books if you want to, if you want to give that a try. If you have any questions or comments or need some help, you can get me at Creativa on Facebook. That's my page on Facebook or Rebecca E. Parsons on Instagram. And so I'm going to sign out for now. This is Rebecca. I believe in you and I believe in your creativity. And may joy be with you all.